and uh, Eli sent this email. He said uh, he's buying a house, having it inspected, but the inspection is during the time that he, Eli, has to be at work. He says, is it necessary for him to actually be at the house during the inspection, Brent? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's not a requirement. Certainly, it's the best practice. But I know, um, you know, with home team, we're able to, you know, Zoom people in or FaceTime people in or, mm. you know, do kind of virtual walkthroughs. Um, there may be a, another time uh, we've had out of town investors or people moving into the into the city that, you know, they're not here uh, and they want to have a look at the house once they do get to town. We, we've done situations like that. A lot of of, of the agents will show up. Uh, for those for those inspections kind of on behalf of the buyer. So it's not a it's not a requirement, but certainly what I would tell anybody who can't be at a walkthrough with their inspector, make sure you read the entire report. And if you have any questions at all, pick up the phone and call your inspector right away to make sure that you have a clear understanding of what you're seeing in that report. Um, it's, you know, it's it's probably the next best thing that you can do, but just you know, best practice for everybody's just make sure you don't have any questions about that report. Um, you know, that's that's the uh, that's the thing that frustrates, you know, buyers more than anything else. They just said, well, oh, I didn't read all the way through the report. I just thought I would look at the summary mm -hmm. and that would tell me everything. But there's yeah. a lot of information in the report that's very valuable and some things you may need to do. Some professionals you may want to have come in and take a look at things like roofs, you know, that may have been wind damage here lately.